animal's killer, most of the tying all happens at the base of the hook. First thing I do, I've mixed up a bunch of different Sanyo uh, flash and, and some other stuff. Again, I'm just going to tie it in, fold it over, tie that in as, and start to come down the bend of the hook. Now because of the material, I can pull until I get it down short enough. Just kind of a quarter of an inch or less. Now, the way this was traditionally tied was with a uh, black squirrel tail, then a golden pheasant tippet over top of it. So traditionally it's tied with black, but I'm going to use white. It's got a white tip on this one. And again, you don't want it too long. And we're going to use our traditional pinch method because we don't want it to roll. But I don't want it too long. Again, I'm going to look, look for the, the gap of the hook or just a little bit more. Now you can tie this into the body if you want to create a fatter or, or a taller body on it. Now we've got this. I'm now going to take my golden pheasant. I don't want the golden. I want two feathers. Okay, so I'm going to take those two feathers and I'm going to lay them right over, one over top of the other. And I'm going to lay down so that they're exactly covered. I want that cover to just kind of show a little bit of the white tip at the end. Yeah, but I want them flat. Okay. Same pinch technique. And just close loops, it's just, it's just putting, now if you want to do this as a dubbing and you've got a yellow um, dubbing that you want to use rather than the chenille, by all means go ahead. Um, it's just a color on the body. This is that uh, chenille is just an easy way to do it. from down here on the on the mallard and it's been dyed chartreuse open the fly feather up lay it down again one of the things that happens with this fly is the fish grab it they're biting onto this feather <coughs> one of the ways that you make this feather much more stable is you tie it in and I'm going to fold that stem back once I get everything where I want it to be. Tie it in a little bit more. I'm now going to fold the stem back and tie it down once more. Okay, so here I'm going to want to create and I want a yellow head. So how am I going to do that with white thread? Marker. That's exactly right. And I actually like a little bit of a bulb head here. You don't very often tie that. Okay, and again, I'm going to um, marker that up a little bit more so that it's all yellow on the on the head. 